What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I hope everyone is doing well. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the about section of the channel for more information on how to do that. I'm going to be revamping the list of um, readings that I do and updating my website sometime in the near future. Um, I'm going to be doing a pick card reading today. I'm not going to be on the camera because <laughs> I don't feel like it. Um, originally, I was going to do all of the elements, but it's going to be kind of your choice on which one that you choose. Um, it's going to go in the order of earth, air, fire, and water. So there's going to be messages for your sign in one of these in one of these piles. But if you wanted to just to pick a pile, the first one is forgive and forget. The second one is trust the divine plan. The third one is face your shadow. And the fourth one is change tracks. This is going to be going over someone's um, situation, something that they're dealing with, um, how they're feeling, whatever actions they're going to be taking, and some advice on the best way forward for everybody. So let's get started here with the first pile. Once again, this is supposed to be for the earth signs, but it is what it is. You can pick what you want. Forgive and forget is the message that you need to remember um, this month um, for the next eight days. Um, something significant with the 10th of next month, there's going to be something that is going to come into your life that has to do with your career. Um, there's going to be some kind of goal that you will be completing next month. Um, that will further you along your journey and I think that it's going to be something that's going to change your life and I think that it's going to be in a good way. Some of you guys are going to be in a place where you are in a commitment or a situation that you are comfortable, um, surrounded by people that truly support you. Um, you're going to have this sense of security and hopefully we'll be letting our ego die. You guys are seen as very helpful people. Um, some of you guys carry feminine energy, but at the same time, there's also this strength and wisdom that comes with you guys, and I feel like it's important for you to maintain balance and harmony in your life, especially with the upcoming changes. It's important for you to play it smart, um, to be protective of the things that you need to be, and to also carry the energy of laughter and creativity because that will get you far. Some of you guys are going to be um, offered a sponsorship or an investment um, which will help you be successful because of all of the help that you've... By you guys helping other people, it's bringing the energy back into your life. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm really tired of all of these readings and all of this stuff like being stuck in your head and and stuck on the past and stuck in situations and not opening up, not saying how you feel, being guarded, you know. A lot of us carry a heartbreak from so long ago with us to this day that we're so fixed in that energy that... We're just continuously bringing that energy back into our lives. So we don't open up. We hold back. We are faced with obstacles and rivalry. Um, but yet we still remain stubborn and stuck in our ways. Scared of commitment. But yet waiting for an opportunity to just land in our lap. But meanwhile, remaining emotionally closed off, guarded, and probably a little harsh with our communication. There's a need to have equal partnerships in every part of your life, stable relationships, stable marriages. Balance is needed or signs. You need to be willing to adapt, change, and work things out. You need to be able to work on ourselves to get better and not give up.
the first the first card is the king of wands the three of swords the five of wands and the seven of pentacles we have the tower we have solid foundation success with effort we have dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair we have the grasshopper Situations in the balance that require careful handling. The lobster, we have financial pinch. The knot, unsuccessful plans. Leg, stepping into a new experience. Something to do with the month of July. And the elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. And the hammock, taking a vacation, physically or mentally, maybe in July. You're exuding this energy of knowing what it is that you want, moving forward in that energy. But yet here we are with the Three of Swords and the Five of Wands, still in a committed relationship that we know probably isn't going to work out. Trying to change ourselves to adapt to a situation, and it scares the shit out of some of you to actually say how you feel. Say you lie about things. You... Pretend that you don't know, but you know at the end of the day what it is that you want and the truth about the situation. This is going to affect your job and your profession if you continue down this road. There's obstacles put in your way because you're refusing to change a situation that you know probably wasn't meant to be. Some of you guys could be buying jewelry for people in an attempt to work out a situation. But the universe is asking for you to have unrivaled courage, strength, independence, patience, and to act at the right time. That good luck is coming your way, but laziness, lust, and fertility will possibly be one of the biggest roadblocks that you'll see. When things go wrong and they're dark and gloomy. Just remember that it's important for you to maintain a lighthearted attitude. Find a reason to laugh, whether it's a video on YouTube or a movie that makes you laugh. Because staying in negative energy is just going to keep brooding and bring more in. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who transformed your life. Someone who's really intimidating. Someone who matches your playfulness and your loyalty and your love. But you hold yourself back from them because you are working on the situation that's not working out for some of you. Holding on to material things and staying in a situation where your ego is taking over and it's affecting your image and your career. There's a need to let things go. There's a need to, for some of you, not have sex with a bunch of different people. There's a need to be of service, to receive the things that you'd like to come into your life. To never forget your strength and your grace and your determination and your self-discipline because it's carried you this far and it'll carry you into the future. Someone wants you to see things for what they are. Some of you guys are going through a huge transformation. You're reinventing yourself and that's gonna bring about limitless creativity and inspiration. There's a need for you to heal your inner child and forgive and forget some things from the past. Some of you guys' psychic abilities are going to be at an all-time high and you're gonna be realizing something about a partnership or a marriage, something to do with a family situation and the people around you. There will be challenges. There will be a lot of things that you need to learn. There's going to be a lot of hard work. But you're smart enough and you're creative enough and you are able to maneuver through some of life's greatest obstacles. There's a need to blend in to create peace and harmony. To create your logo, to create your 
brand in the right way. Remain hopeful, keep the right friends around you, and just know that you might have to take a job that you wouldn't want to do um, on the side for a while, and you might be stuck in a routine, but the partnerships and the fan base and the support that you want is within reach as well as the material wealth, but your ego has to go. They say that in life you can only choose one, fear or faith. How long have you lived in fear? And played it off like you're fine. And in reality, it has caused you to have more time and effort put into things that have been extended way past their expiration date. And you don't say anything. You keep it to yourself. Everything that you're going through, you don't talk about it. There's a need for you to explore your thoughts and your career and the legacy that you're leaving on this earth because I promise it's going to be bigger than you could even imagine. And it's important for you to have the right vision to always think of success. And when it comes to a partner, writing down every positive thing that you'd want someone in your life to be like and putting it as a vision board on your wall like I did. I'd read it to you, but it's really long. I can tell you that when I was writing it though, when I got to the point where I wrote down family and father and protector, I broke down. There's so many things that we think that we've healed from and we really haven't. But there's a need to have courage to have the partnerships that we want. There's a need to bring out the respectful and romantic and sincere side of ourselves to the world so that people can see you for who you truly are. The loyal, honest, appreciative, understanding, patient, helpful, ride or die person that most of you are. There's a need to focus less on what people have to say and to focus on what it is that you want. I did love you is the message. You ain't gotta be jealous. Broken record left on repeat. You have influencer. You have nanny. You have power. You have freedom. You have soft. And you have past life regression. There's a song with um, Six Black, and I can't remember the girl's name, but it talks about past life regression, and it's a really good song. If I think of it, I'll put it in the comments. You have Keep an Open Mind, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That may be the reason you're completely disinterested with the people around you is because you keep going for the ones that really don't do anything for you at the end of the day. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. You have sleep. You have meditation, you have well-being, home, dreams, happy family, door to value, new love, communication, and triangle. Some of you guys are going to find your power only in taking back your freedom, communicating to the people around you the truth, 
Maybe you don't want either one of these people. Maybe you want something new. Some of you guys could have someone that takes care of your children or that took care of you as a child and they greatly influenced your life in a way that might not have been so positive. There might also might be the reason why you're not able to ever make a choice between two people, that you always have more than one. But at the end of the day, you get bored. That someone sees you as very powerful, um, the CEO in their own right, very influential, someone who knows what hard work looks like, someone who puts a lot of work and effort into the things in their life. But it's like they go unnoticed. This person might not be your type. And you continuously have this person from your past coming back in because they see you making some money now and they see you talking to other bitches, so here they come. Or men. It's going to benefit you guys to do some meditation as you're sleeping to help your well-being. As you know that earth signs do suffer from a lot of health issues as well as a lot of heart issues because you guys really suppress emotions and things and after a while all that built up energy inside of our bodies causes disease. There's something to be said about deep breaths and I've noticed myself even I'll be sitting here and I, it's almost like I forget to breathe. To focus on deep breaths and, and getting fresh air into your lungs. Because I promise the more research that you do into the reptile brain and kind of what visual things and triggers that we have around us constantly have molded us into people that we are just shells. We are completely consumed by our ego and our pride and our possessions and a competition with another person and have become completely narcissistic and selfish. And maybe that's something that you don't know, but maybe it's something that you do. When you have conversations with people, do you talk about yourself or do you ask how someone else is doing? Some of you guys are dealing with someone who really is very self-centered and I don't even think they realize how bad it has become because it's not who you are, but you're very powerful you're very influential to people around you. Some of you guys dream of having this home life with a happy family. And it's almost like you've convinced yourself that it's a fantasy and it's not something that you can reach. So when you sleep, maybe you go to this place. Who told you that you couldn't have it? What made you believe that it wasn't attainable? Some of you guys deal with someone who always had another person or someone that cheated on you. This person could have been someone who was very um, unsettled within themselves and they were never satisfied. So you spent the majority of time and years trying to satisfy this person when at the end of the day, they weren't satisfied with themselves. Now it's getting to the point where it's affecting other parts of your life because if the universe is going to teach the earth signs any kind of lesson, they're going to hit you where it hurts and they're going to hit you with your finances. They're going to dangle this money in front of you, but they're going to tell you you need to change to get it. And it's going to be up to you and it's going to be hard and there's going to be a lot of roadblocks in the way the more that you continue to ignore things and not speak up for yourself and not open your mind up to new possibilities or God forbid, a different kind of person that you've dated since for the last 14 years. That maybe if you got to know someone and actually communicated with them, or maybe you did and something happened where you ended up with your heart broken or there ended up being a fight so, I 
I think that you second guess if this person actually loved you or if they're entertaining other people. And at the end of the day, they could tell you whatever they want, but with the broken record on repeat, you don't really take in that information. You hear what you want to hear. Meanwhile, some of you guys are dealing with your own demons and skeletons in the closet of pointing fingers at other people. I don't feel like that you're too far off of your goal. I think that you're actually closer than you think. But there's a need to pay attention and there's a need to act in a strategic way. And know that if you're facing tons of adversity, when it comes to love sometimes, that is the right path to go down. You'd be surprised at how many forces don't want people that are meant to be together to actually unite because of the energy and the power that is in between a man and a woman is something that this nation has destroyed on purpose. Any type of unity, any type of family unit, any type of the man taking their rightful place as the leader is gone. A lot of our men have been demasculinized to the point where they're so broken that they don't even know how much their fears hold them back from them expressing themselves. And it holds them back from being who they're truly meant to be. So we believe the lies and we believe that it's the people around us. It's something that looks okay it's your fear and it's not faith but you've been programmed to believe that and i want you to remember that it's a lie that it's time to reprogram your subconscious and not be so closed off and guarded and harsh with your communication to people that don't deserve it don't be so scared of commitment because you could spend the rest of your life in a situation or a relationship that you know that you're not happy in for kids or for clout or for an image. But what happens if this person dies or if you die and you never got to take that leap of faith because you were scared and you never got to experience something that could probably make you really happy? We spend so much time in fear that it's almost like we years go by and we're still doing the same thing. We're still investing into things that never worked out because maybe we were taught to, if you're in a commitment or a marriage, to ride till the wheels fall off. But at the end of the day, we have to sit and think that there are just relationships that are not fucking meant to be at the end of the day. And why sit in a situation where you're completely unhappy when you could go be somewhere where you are happy? I don't blame anybody for trying to work out a relationship or a marriage if that's genuinely what you want to do. But from my experience, a lot of you guys internalize things that you should say to people. You give too much of yourselves and you get heartbroken over and over by the same people because you don't know how to let them go out of your life. Maybe they don't leave you alone, which I can relate to. But at the same time, if you desire genuine people, if you desire respect and Someone that listens to you and someone that accepts you. Someone that you can have an equal partnership with. Then what are you doing? You would have known by now the situation that you're in doesn't work for some of you. But some of you guys are going to continue to work on it. And I'm not saying there's anything bad with that. I wish you the best of luck. But remember that your happiness matters too. Air signs, you have trust the divine plan. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You don't care too much and it's obvious. Love is overrated, but I love you. Waiting by the phone. Someone could be dealing with a tattoo artist. 
someone could be working in a field where there's a lot of hard labor. There's a lot of attraction here. Your third eye chakra could be opening. You could might feel like you're going crazy or you might be having headaches or unable to sleep. I would look up what ascension feels like. If set in ways and you have memories. Blonde female. Freedom. Long distance. Action. Anxiety. Healing. Patience. Receive healing. Release. Oh, it says, rela yeah, release. You have barriers. And you have respect. You have wedding. The situation involves marriage. You have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You have basket, recognition, reward for merit. You have mountain, major challenge to overcome. Crack cup, dissatisfaction with life. Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Jug, lighthearted, carefree time. Harp, great happiness. You have shark, take care, or there will be a loss of material wealth. Horseshoe, you have good luck. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. Bow, you are highly thought of. And you have the Nine of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Hierophant. Air signs. Do you ever wonder why a lot of you guys suffer from pretty heavy anxiety disorders? They say that anxiety is worry about the future. And I'm not exactly sure what the percentage is right now off the top of my head because I'm tired. But a lot of the fears that we have never come true. But some of the things that we obsess about manifest into our life. You guys have luck on your side. You have limitless creativity. You're inspiring to other people. You're motivating to other people. And to be honest, your inner child needs some work if you want to be in a situation where there's love. Some of you guys are teachers. Some of you guys have wisdom. Some of you guys are very talented and you're able to focus and you have strength and courage and you're lighthearted and a little bit intimidating, but you also have drive and determination. People trust you, people look up to you. People respect you. But I feel like some of you guys forgot who you were. Some of you guys are meant to travel the world and um, have a career in philosophy and mental exploration. Some of you guys are meant to be working with the collective some of you guys are meant to be in a partnership, possibly with a Scorpio, to transform and transmute negative energy and timelines and all of the dark energy that we have surrounding us. Some of you guys are working jobs that you know are just to pass the time. Some of you guys miss your home and your family. Some of you guys spend a lot of time in the community but it doesn't give you any satisfaction because it's not what you're looking for so maybe you spend a lot of time collecting things money security 
I can tell you that your ego is getting in the way of things coming into your life. Because you're very set in your ways and it's causing there to be barriers in your life. There's so many things that you guys need to release that you've been through and it's time to accept the healing that the universe is offering you. But the angels can't come in to heal you unless you invite them in. What a lot of people don't tell you is that mental illness isn't always what they say. You can be diagnosed with whatever it is that they tell you, but it also means that you have some abilities that you're unaware of. Some of you guys are going through an awakening right now and it's scaring the shit out of you. And you're not sure why you're just not interested in everything that you used to be interested in. Some of you guys' intuition is popping. Some of you guys are self-sabotaging because your subconscious is so programmed to work and eat and sleep, have sex, buy things, looking for that emotional or sexual fulfillment. But there's something to be said about self-discipline and determination and grace and strength. That you guys are meant to be the leaders of this world. That you carry wisdom and strength. Some of you guys are excellent mothers to your children. You're helpful. You're someone who is respectful. You're a good companion. Proud. Um, accepting you're a good listener some of you guys like to laugh with your family some of you guys really do just want an equal partnership with another person but you feel like people don't understand you because you don't know how to comfort yourself so how could another person comfort you you've tried staying inside maybe keeping yourself closed off but it's not giving you any comfort there's a need to communicate and have a conversation with someone that you trust about what's really going on in your life and find comfort in the fact that you're not crazy, there's nothing wrong with you, that you are safe and protected, but you're living in your ego and in a 3D matrix that's on its way out, that they're, you guys are transforming whether you realize it or not and you're going through so many changes right now that you don't really know what to do because you've been the same way for so long. Some of you guys don't open up about things that possibly could have happened to you as a child when you were 7 or 8 or 4 or 9 or 18. There could have been an event that happened that caused you to have severe PTSD and it prevents you from moving forward in your life. So instead you'll sit and overthink and not move forward. It's got to be fear or faith, air signs. I would recommend some long distance healing for some of you guys if you believe in Reiki or meditations or the sound therapy. There's a need to have patience when, when it comes to yourself and other people that you'll get the recognition that you deserve and the reward that you deserve and this wish but you have to be mindful of what you're attracting into your life. Some of you guys are the gods and goddesses of this universe. And maybe you haven't been respected. Maybe your third eye is opening and you're not really sure how to process all of the emotions and things that, you, that are coming to you. Some of you guys are um, separated from someone who is married, someone who... The sex was good. You could have had a few good times with them, but at the end of the day, they're probably not going to leave their wife. And it just puts barriers in your life that you don't need. There's a need for you to be free. There's a need for you to take action because I think that you'd feel better to not be so set in your ways and stop replaying old memories over and over in your head that just cause you more anxiety. That you're safe. That your guides want you to know that you have so many abilities that you have no idea. That you should always think of your desires and never your fears. 
and that you're meant to be the leaders and the speakers and the influencers in this life. But a lot of the times we keep ourselves stuck in a situation where the universe has put you until you let go of things that no longer serve you. Some of you have something to do with your health and your work and children, something to do with your past, um, a family situation, home life. Some of you are overly concerned with money and possessions and income. So people might take you wrong because this isn't really who you are. Your reputation. People don't see you in the right, right? I don't think. But there's a lot of stress about debt and taxes and traveling and still hoping and wishing that you can do the things that you want to do. But a lot of you, it involves escapism. Unconscious fears, unconscious things that keep you from being who you're meant to be and away from the people that you're meant to be with in this life. There's a need to have faith that you're going through some pretty intense shit right now. But maybe it's time to get out of that situation ship and think a little bit bigger about the purpose that you have in this life. That things and sex and routine didn't really get us anywhere, did it? That your ego and feminine, divine feminine energy puts you in a place where kind of living a lie for some of you, and I'm not saying everyone, but you're meant to build people up. You're meant to share the knowledge that you have. You're meant to overcome the things in your life with balance and harmony because you're very smart people but you have yet to discover your limitless creativity and your inner child that just wants to be loved and appreciated and maybe laugh and be free. Do something that you like doing as a child. For some of you, you like to swing and swings or watch the stars or um, talk to, um, maybe you had an imaginary friend or maybe it's time to talk to your angels and your guides or someone that passed on because some of you guys had PTSD and have yet to heal because you were an unable to stop a situation where someone died. You feel like you don't have strength, you don't have the courage or confidence in yourself. A lot of people wouldn't know that because of how you carry yourself. But there are some barriers because it's time to receive healing and release things. It's time to go through this healing and to have patience with yourself so that you're able to move forward in your life out of this anxiety. To feel a sense of freedom and not thinking that it's something that you have to attain, something that you're waiting for. People think of you as someone who doesn't care. Maybe it's time to communicate how it is that you feel to some people in your life that matter. Fire signs, you have face your shadow. Shadow self is no joke. It can leave you in a state of depression for a long time. Baby, you know I'm your biggest fan. You have love is crazy. You have, you get in your feelings, so who's the villain? Under the table pay. Cab, Uber driver, or delivery. You have feminine. You have trigger. You have thoughts. You have long-term friend. Gifts. Ice King. Family. Patience. Four Chakra Archangel Raphael. 
Alchemy. Selling out. Growth. Mental repetition. Modify. Free yourself. Release your ex. The time has come to release stuck energy. Children, your love life is being affected by children. You have a quill. Get back to the basics. Is that a song? Fair man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Rose. Romance is in the air. Gong. An exciting event. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. You have fly, a period of ill health and depression. Dog barking, advice from a friend. You have dagger, fear, worries, and intense situation. You have the wheel. You have the ace of cups. You have the emperor. And you have the five of cups. Some of you guys are suffering from a lot of anxiety as well. Some of you guys, someone has feelings for you, but maybe it was an unstable situation and you were unable to identify with this person's feminine energy because it's a trigger for you. Because of the unhealed trauma from your childhood. When it comes to a mother figure for some of you. That your thoughts about this long-term friend, something that you're replaying over and over in your head is just causing more fear and worry that there's a need to change. Some of you guys, maybe it's time to change your job. Some of you guys, it's time to maybe express the regret that you have about the situation with this person that you love but you never told them. Because some of you guys sold out. Some of you guys pretended that you didn't care that you didn't have any feelings, that it wasn't a big deal, you didn't really give a shit about them, it was F bitches get money. There's something to do with the family and the fourth chakra is the heart chakra. Maybe some of our ideas of family is fucked up and it's been fucked up since we've been children. But at the same time, it's time to face those because that's the only way to get through these challenges. And it's important to have friends. It's important to understand that sometimes we're the teacher and sometimes we're the student. And it's different in every relationship that you have. Someone you're able to, to have fun with, this person is spiritual, this person is um, kind of motivating to you. Someone who's um, in the public eye. Someone who wishes and hopes for the best for you. But they see you stuck in this routine. Some of your guys' health isn't the greatest because of a marriage or a partnership that you are in. Because your home and family situation. I think some of you guys are working yourselves into um, your immune system is shot. Because you're worried about your career and your legacy for your children, but you're also kind of not taking care of yourself. More worried about money and things instead of maybe communicating to the people around you that you probably need to go to the doctor. Some of you guys don't want people to make a big deal about your health so you don't tell anyone, but this could be something that you can't get out of your head. And You haven't even told the person that you love. You haven't even told this friend that. I think that there's someone who wants to help you genuinely. There is a lot of angels around you that are protecting you with fire signs, but... There are things in your life that aren't able to come through or happen for you right now because there's a need for you to change the way that you think about things. There's a need for you to pay attention to maybe the feminine energy in your life. The, to be careful at a job where you get paid under the table because there might be some regret 
or something with this in the future. You could be getting a message about something that you didn't know about the situation and it could leave you stuck in a situation that you don't really want to be in. There's a heavy transformation energy, but there's some memories that you guys have where you have an inability to talk about. Unable to trust people and believe that people are actually there for your highest good. That someone could be a ride or die for you because you didn't have the family protector. You didn't have the father figure. You didn't have a mother figure. It's a fucking joke. But what you forgot is that there's people that accept you and that are proud of you, people that are helpful and people that through it all would stand next to you regardless of what you've been through because that's what true friends do. That maybe it's time to have a conversation that maybe this person would understand because they're your friend and they know you better probably than you know yourself. Some of you guys are so afraid to move forward that you just lost your confidence and that's so uncommon for fire signs because you guys are the ones that are all about action. You guys are the ones that are supposed to know what it is that you want and move forward, but it's like, I've never seen the fire sign stuck like this. Replaying things in your head, acting like everything's fine, not opening up about the bigger issues that are here because your shadow side is ugly. Some things you don't want to deal with, childhood trauma, you know, I think that you're afraid to talk about some things or maybe you're afraid to, to go back to those memories. But it's necessary for your growth. It's necessary for these gifts to come in for you to go back to where it started. What's that Kevin Gates song where it said, sometimes we have to relive the past to heal from it. It's that time. Have patience with yourself. Know that you're supported. That there's a need to change the way that you think about things, especially women and friends. And apparently you have a fan base, but I think that maybe this person expressed emotions to you and it wasn't reciprocated. It's kind of awkward energy is kind of how I feel. But is the time to free yourself from your past so that you can move forward into what you're meant to, you know, so you can discover, you know, the things about yourself that you forgot about, that you are friendly people, that you are strong and leaders and passionate, um, but you got stuck in a routine. You got stuck in a career and you still have hope and you have these wishes for yourself, but your subconscious needs to be reprogrammed. I'd recommend the, med the meditations on YouTube. Remember, it's fear or faith. Water signs, you have changed tracks. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There is no one like you. I need you to know I got you. I think it's finally safe for me to fall. You are funny as fuck. You. You have, you could be dealing with the artist or a producer, singer, songwriter, performer. Some of you guys are dealing with a sponsor or an investor. Maybe this person will be noticing you. You have career. You have discovery. You guys are going to be discovered. Hmm. You have driven. And you have dreams. This is going to be a dream come true for some of you guys. Um, to do what it is that you've always wanted to do and have the investment to back it up. And here we go. Money, baby. Money, baby. Money, baby. Obstacles. Son of a bitch. Short term. Well, at least they won't last long. First chakra, Archangel Michael. 
the thinking woman casket someone going out of your life or the end of a situation cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control I just got goosebumps yeah we're protected dragon beware of self-delusion scissors disappointment in some affair caterpillar things will not always be this way a change is coming you have pin new job or career you have cat a two-faced friend chair empty someone is leaving your life maybe this two-faced friend rainbow the most difficult part of a situation is over well thank god two of swords six of swords the hermit page of swords the sun love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive well, that's a good thing since I've been celibate since fucking nom. <clears throat> you deserve love. You are lovable. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Intention. Answers within. Listen to your body. You have pride and you have help from above. Water signs, I feel like money is trickling in. There's a little bit of obstacles, but I feel like you're going to be sponsored or invested in here in the near future or discovered. Some of you guys that are artists, maybe you'll be discovered by someone um, and you'll have that someone investing in your career. There's going to be a really big dream come true because of, your, because of how driven you guys are. There's some kind of conversation that you guys need to have, something that you think about often, Something that has to do with your heart. Something that maybe you don't know the answer to or you can't see through the illusion. But I feel like some of you guys have done a lot of self-reflection and healing and now you're kind of paying more attention. You're aware of these people around you that think that you don't know what's going on. You have the sun card. I feel like the negative people are leaving your life. But it's important for you to, um, some of you guys need to drink more water. Some of you guys need to go to the doctor because you could have some issues. I see kind of insomnia and um, maybe some depression. Some type of lack of nutrition as well. Maybe a vitamin deficiency. But I feel like you guys are trans going through a transformation. Um, maybe... You're getting out of this energy where you've kind of had to fight like tooth and nail for so long for something. And now you're moving forward with intention or there's someone moving into your life with intention because I think you caught someone's eye because maybe you were unattainable. Maybe you were not afraid to spend some time alone. Some of you guys have learned to love yourself and maybe you're working on communicating your emotions with the person, but I just feel like Someone has angels around them trying to bring a situation together, but pride could be an issue, even though there's definitely help from above for some of you guys. I think that some of you guys are dealing with someone that wants to be supportive, wants to be in your life. Um, someone who might have been afraid to open up or um, express their emotions, but I also feel like you guys have been in that energy as well. I think that there is some new kind of opportunities coming in, but there might be some negative things trying to block it. There also could be a death in the family for some of you guys. So I do see energy of someone crossing over. So if it was due to a medical condition, some of you guys need to go in and get some testing done because there could be an underlying factor that runs in the family or genetics or whatever the hell hereditary hereditary you know what I'm trying to say some of you guys are going to be leaving a legacy and you're going to be exploring things and working with the collective having these partnerships in your life some of you guys could be getting married some of you guys, your health situation will improve, but you're going to change, need to change some routines in your life, whether it's eating or a diet or exercise.
because you mean too much to your family to go out any other way. You're needed and wanted here. We've been through some intense fucking shit this year, water signs. But at the same time, we've kind of come to the realization about the kind of people that we do want in our life, the kind of partner that we do want. My page is full. I wrote down all the things that I would want in a partner because I feel like the love that I've given people, I've never gotten back, just like Kevin Gates said. When you're this kind of person and you have compassion for people and you have, you have unconditional love and you're there for people and, you know, spend the majority of your life helping people and, and taking care of people and then you look around and it's just like there's something missing. We're no longer accepting bullshit situationships that people that break our hearts because they want to sleep with us, but they don't want to open up or have any type of commitment. Y'all you know, can kick rocks. We don't need y'all. Of course you want us, but that's not going to get you anywhere. I want me too, shit. To maintain a positive attitude isn't the easiest for us because we do get stuck in our feelings. We have more feelings than any other people. Scorpio has the deepest, darkest fucking emotions. And then on top of that, to be an empath. On top of that, to be a psychic. On top of that, to have pretty strong fucking knowledge and intuition. And to be sent here to teach other people and build up the collective. Because we all need balance and harmony in our life. We all need to take a second look at our diet and what we eat and what we watch and what we do. Technology is probably one of the biggest reasons for a lot of health issues. Some of us have had an ego death, so now we're at a point where we're a lot more humble and we're working on our communications. We're working on the family. We're working on having sincere people in our lives, someone who could listen, someone who wouldn't mind a blended family, someone who could be a partner, someone who knows what he wants, someone who's unafraid to move forward, someone who's loyal and honest and thankful and appreciative and trustworthy, someone who puts in effort, someone who's helpful, someone who's by our side, someone who we can walk this journey with and that's genuine, that wants to be there, that can listen to us and be there for us and <laughs> love us in the way that we need to be loved. There's comfort in understanding for us. There's comfort in people appreciating us and being thankful for us. There's a lot of comfort in people who are unafraid to move forward toward us and tell us what it is that they want. Clear decisions. Someone who is patient. Someone who is proud to be by my side. Someone who's genuine. Someone who's capable. Someone who is has the inability to care what other people have to say. Because I want date nights and fucking pancakes and cuddles and to laugh and to listen and go, go on family vacations and have a partner in my life for the right reasons. Because security is important to us. It's not about money, it's stability. It's to know that we're wanted, that this is where they want to be, that they have an open mind to try to understand us and the things that we've been through and vice versa. That communication and effort and partnership is fucking important and so is trust. That we've had enough of the bullshit, we just want someone to stand by us through it all, maybe show the world what love is really like. It's not about money. 
but it does help to have someone in our lives who can give us the same things that we give them to have a family or whatever it looks like to other people to laugh and enjoy life with someone by my side someone who gets me flowers not just when they fuck up or there's a fucking funeral someone we can make memories with that doesn't judge someone who has the courage to be romantic and gentle and respectful and helpful and sincere even though other people would call them soft. Underneath our heart exterior, we're pretty fucking soft too. Remember this drive, remember your dreams, and remember that good things are coming in for you guys, but there's also a need to take a second look at ourselves and what truly makes us happy and write it down, send it out into the universe, Because it's time for some good things to come in for the water signs. And any type of obstacles are going to be short term. So remember that when things get tough. That it's okay to make a decision to open your heart up to someone that you clearly love. And it's okay to let go of people that shouldn't have been in your life to begin with. That some people need to do their own self research on themselves to figure out their problems and that we can't fix them for them that friendship and partnership isn't about what you can do for other people it's what you can do together it's encouraging and motivating each other to be the best version of ourselves and fuck the past because it never has anything new to say Somebody's getting jewelry, and someone might be getting pregnant. But you're leaving a legacy, so I see wishes coming true. So remember that. Anyways, I hope that you guys have a good night.